Hey, it's Tina. Thanks for joining me for another video. If it's your first time, I hope that you would subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, please do like it. It helps the channel to grow. Now, I've always had supernatural dreams my whole life. They have grown in intensity as I age. And lately, uh, the past year and a half, I've been doing a lot of meditating uh, a lot of spiritual work a lot of quiet time uh, just connecting with God in the universe and that has brought a closer uh, a better ability to zone into things than I have had in the past so a couple of nights ago I have this larger than life dream it's so supernatural it seems real. I can remember every detail of it. I feel as if I were there. It's different from a typical dream. Um so I am on a in a like I, I want to say I'm in a parking lot, but it it almost looks like a boat. But I have my car there and I'm waiting on a package. Up at the top of the steps there are men going through boxes, calling out names. There are a few other people uh, in the distance, but not a, it's not a big crowd of people. And I feel, um, feel like somebody's staring at me. And this goes on, you know, for a little bit, about 15 minutes or so. And I turn around and, you know, I don't see anybody, but I call out to them anyways and say... Hey, uh, I know you're back there. Um, I guess you're being shy. You want to come on out and introduce yourself. You know, I'm not going to bite you. And um, after I said this, they do come out. But as I see them come out, I realize it's it's not a person at all. It, it's a ghostly entity type figure. It's kind of takes me off guard a little bit I, I mean I don't spook easily I've like I say been around this sort of thing forever so I let it come on over and we start to have a conversation as you can see there's water also underneath me so I kind of think I might be on a boat okay so here's the ghost coming over to me to talk to me and we um, get to know each other, and I make, you know, my decisions about if I'm going to really be a friend with this person or not. And he, he's nice enough, but he's a little, um, he's, he's, he is a little shy, but he's also a little bit, I want to say arrogant, but I don't know why, um. Not bad, just a little. But, I, you know, I, I, he tells me his name, and I think, I don't try to remember it because I don't plan on keeping the friendship, you know. Well, we suddenly are at the sky, and I, I don't really know how we got there. But I do know that our conversation is getting more in depth, we're getting to know one another a little better, getting more comfortable with one another. And he begins to draw out this beautiful sky for me, and I, I love the colors that he's using. Now, I'm very much into artwork. I'm, you know, artsy all the way. And so the color scheme that he is showing me of the sky, I'm just really <laughs> impressed. And I, you know, I compliment, that is a beautiful sky. It's not romantic. It's just uh, two 
two people, spirits, energies, two energies, if you would, spending time with one another. And he keeps on, you know, making the sky for me. And I really want to know how he did this, because I want to make one. But I don't ask, because I am aware that I cannot make a sky yet, because I'm not... I don't live here. I'm only visiting and I don't have the ability to do the things he can do because this is his home that I'm at now. He tells me more about himself and he asked me if I've heard of the band Kiss. And I said, yeah, yeah, I have. And he tells me he was in that band when he was alive and he jumps up in the sky and pulls out this like wand that he can draw with and he draws a picture of his, just his face and he shows me what he looked like in the band and then he pulls out another wand and draws a picture of his face without the paint face painting and he says, this is what he looks like, you know, without his face painted. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, wow. And, and then he tells me he died while he was in the band, in that band, you know, he had died. And um I said, oh, you know, I'm really sorry about that. And he's like, you know, it's okay. So our time is up and we have to leave. Well, I wake up the next morning almost giddy um, because it was just such a cool dream. And the first thing I do is I grab my phone and I ask Google. Google, has anyone from the band kiss ever died before and of course yes is the answer eric carr died back in 1991 from a rare heart disease problem or heart cancer i believe it was but anyway i i spent the entire morning following stories listening to stories from his family and fellow bandmates listening to some of the songs that he played on. I listened to many of his drum solos. He was a, a fabulous drummer, just amazingly talented person. It's the main thing everyone said was how kind and sweet he was. He was a little shy, which I, I really thought, well, that goes with what, you know, came across in his spirit form. Um... But I think, you know, this dream was just a way for him to come back and give everybody a hello and say, you know, I'm still here in spirit form, even though I may not be here physically. And, uh, hey, don't forget me, you know.